Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the third episode of my series about my Pleasant View 50 years in the future. Today we are going to talk about two families. We are going to talk about, uh, not that goth family, this goth family with Alexander Goth and his wife. And after them we are going to talk about uh, Alexander's daughter and who she is with now. So. Uh, we will start with Alexander, and we will just 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 jump into the introduction. So here we have the second Goth household. Um, it's where Alexander Goth lives with his wife uh, Diana. As you can see, they are both elders. Um, they just got to elders. I think Diana is a little bit older. Yeah. Um, this is their house. Um, and their back backyard is here. As you can see, I had a good day <laughs> there. Um, and the family here is Alexander, as you can see. And he has uh, his wife, Diana. Um, he is, of course, the child of Goth and uh, Mortimer and Bella Goth. Uh, and the brother to Cassandra Goth and Benjamin Goth. Um, I'm gonna tell you about him later. Uh, with Diana, Alexander got uh, three kids, two bio bi <laughs> what do you have? Bi logical? <laughs> bi biological kids and one adopted. Um, he has Alexa Goth, who is the uh, oldest one of the kids, and he has Kevin Goth and Charlie Goth. Charlie Goth is the kid is a kid um, his bio bi biological parents is Heather Heather Huffington and Castanova um, and because Heather is a Roman sim she Enrolled and she didn't want to keep the the child. Um, and at that point, I had the feeling that Castor Cast Castor didn't want the kid either, uh, or didn't know that he existed. I had the feeling that um, Heather wouldn't have told she was even pregnant. Um, so he went up for adoption, uh, and because Alexander and Diana had had trouble with getting the third kid but they really wanted a third kid i was like well then they're gonna adopt and there were kids at the adoption um lot so <clears throat> yeah they ended up uh, adopting charlie um, they are all three they have all three moved out of the house so you're not gonna see them here uh, but i can tell you a little bit about alexander and diana so here is Alexander Goth. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, he's an elder. He just turned an elder. Uh, he is pretty much the Alexander Goth everyone knows. He's a cancer. He's uh, a little bit more sloppy. He is outgoing. He's a little bit lazy. He's playful and a little bit grouchy. Um, <clears throat> his bio is the same as when he was a kid, so nothing big there. Um, Alexander was a little bit of a weird case for me um, because of course he's a family sim uh, so I thought he would be like really outgoing not really out well yes but not like uh, I thought he would have met more people at least uh, wanted to go out and meet more people um, uh, as you can see he didn't go to college he didn't want to um, and he had the only sim he has been with is Diana, I'm pretty sure. Because for me, when I started this hood, I didn't think about the age correcting after I made my uh, my lifespan. My, uh, so the ages is a bit weird. So Alexander is a lot older than, for example, Lucy, which is a person most people cobble him up with. Uh, but that just never could happen in my game because the ages were so different. Um, 
I'm I don't even remember why. Maybe because I put the Burp family down too late or something like that. Um, but he really fell in love with this townie, uh, Diana. I don't remember her last name. They got together and even went steady. Uh, he never went to college. Uh, it shouldn't be a negative memory because he didn't want to. Um, he grew up really good, though. Um, oh, oh, I guess Mortimer died the same day, maybe. I think he did. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah, um, but yeah, he. He never really met anyone else. Um, he. Uh, how can you say it? He moved out. And still didn't really meet anyone else. Um, but he wanted to be with Diana. Um, that's That was the point where I still had the teens and adults. So I felt like, well, like Diana needed to be an adult too. Uh, so I aged her up. And I actually... The thing is with her, her age is, is so weird. Because she's, she, she's older than him. But from when I... How can you say it? Um, from when I grew him up, she was still a teenager. But I guess back then I was I was like I maybe didn't care too much uh, because I gave her that she went to college to make it make sense that she hadn't been around when he got to be an adult. Um, and because her career was quite high at the moment already. Um, but somehow she's still a couple of days older than Alexander. I don't know if that me uh, that's because of the college thing. But at least she's older than Alexander. Uh, Alexander never did meet anyone else that he fell in love with. Um, he had a lot of friends, <laughs> mostly family. Uh, then they got Alexa, um, and I feel like, yeah, shortly after they got Kevin. And then they really fought to get more kids for a long time, um, but it really just never happened. They, In all this time, they really tried. I think I made them try like 10 times. Uh, so they ended up adopting uh, Charlie, as I said before. Um, and from there, it's just been that. Alexander, why is I say he's a, a weird case for me? Alexander never wanted to leave the lot. The only thing he wanted to do was catch butterflies and catch fireflies. I have the feeling that when Mortimer died and he never got any of the money because Dina took it all. Um, and the whole thing with Cassandra and Don, he knew he was cheating too. And just everything in the goth drama he dot, just didn't ha wanted to have any of it so I feel like he moved out and were like I can see my family but it's on my grounds and they're gonna do it on my terms and I'm just gonna have my little happy bubble um, so that's where we are now uh, he just has his happy bubble here in this house catching bugs and stuff like that with his loving wife, um, never wanting to do anything. He never even had a job. He wa never wanted to have a job. I guess he always had money, so I guess it was okay. Um, but yeah, he just never really had money. Uh, had the want to get a job to get money. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Alexander. He's not the most interesting, but I feel like he just wanted his happy bubble, and I gave him that. And here we have Diana, um, Alexander's loving wife. Um, she had a job when I moved him, her in. Um, I told a little bit about it with all the things. Um, and she has been on that job ever since. Um, she never wanted to leave the house either. Uh, I feel like <laughs> she was just like, well, if Alexander doesn't want to, I'm not going to do either. Uh, and they have just like this really, mm, mm, uh, how you say, tight-knit family with their kids. And sometimes they had parties to invite um, 
Alexander's family over to have a good family tie time with no drama. Uh, so she's just like she, she's just like that, uh, pretty much. Uh, she's a Leo. Uh, she's a little sloppy. She's really outgoing, which doesn't make sense because they never wanted to go out. But that's that's how it is. She's a little bit lazy and a little bit serious, and she's grouchy. Um, she has been faithful to Alexander for almost the whole, um, uh, the whole marriage. And why I say almost is because, and this is awkward, I'm just going to touch on it here because it's her that is involved. But as you can see here, she has kissed with a sim called Asher. And she even has woohooed with, with him. And as you can see, he is an adult. And he is actually a really young adult. He is an adult that haven't found love, I guess. But to make it worse, he was the best friend to Kevin. Um, and Kevin's, I think, fiance, she is now, uh, who is Gigi Thomas. Um, they are not best friends even anymore because I made it so Kevin found out. Um, I don't. I think he maybe even caught caught them doing the thing. Um, and I know he at a party at Asher saw a a picture of his mom and Asher together in a more romantic way. <coughs> um. So they are not best friends anymore. Um, so somehow, I guess, Diana just felt like now everything was chilled down. They don't have any kids at home anymore. And Alexander doesn't want to do anything still. And I guess she maybe got a little bit bored. Um, so she kissed Asher and were with him. Uh, I think they even have a good chemistry yeah it's a oh i'm sorry it's a good chemistry um as and as you can see oh i haven't seen that before oh okay well that's interesting <laughs> but as you can see she has no balls with alex anymore uh i guess she's just kind of got bored and wanted to try something new before she's too old to do anything um but yeah, that's Diana. So this is the house they're living in. Uh, as you can see, it's messy <laughs> too. It's a little bit more decorated man than maybe some other houses, but it's not like a big thing. Um, I'm not sure where this family is going. I hope, I kind of hope that Diana hadn't been going out and doing naughty stuff with other people because Alexander really needed a person to be stable with him for like always but I kind of understand her because he never wants to go anywhere anyways so I understand her getting bored but then I, sh I think she should just say no I don't want anymore um, maybe she's gonna do that now that she's found another person that she likes <laughs> It's just awkward when it's her son's ex-best friend. Um, but we will see what happens there. I'm excited to tell about their kids because they are a little bit more interesting. Um, uh, at least Charlie is really nice. I really like Charlie and where his timeline or story is going. Yeah, that was the second goth household. So here we have another goth uh, household. Um, in this family, we have Alexa Goth, Alexander's daughter, <coughs> and her fiance Jet Swain. Um, they just moved in here, so there is nothing in the house. I haven't done anything. I just moved them here. Um, they are fiancés. And they really like each other, as you can see. Um, she also likes, likes other people, but this is the man she has chosen to be with, for good reasons. Um, she, uh, 
they are not married yet because I felt like it wasn't like a, a something they wanted to rush. Like they know they're gonna marry, but it's gonna be the perfect marriage uh, or wedding, if you can say it like that. So, but they really wanted to move out from their home. She didn't want to live with her parents anymore, and he didn't want to live uh, with his parents anymore. Um, but yeah, let me tell you a little bit more about them. So here we have Alexa Goth. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a bio for her. I actually thought I had written something for her, but I haven't. Um, she is a Scorpio. She's really neat. She's uh, a little bit outgoing. She's active, playful and grouchy. Uh, she is, is, as I said, the daughter of Alexander Goth and Diana Goth. Diane? Diane? I think it's Diane. I think I maybe have said Diana, said Diana so many times, but Diane, Goth. Um, and uh, she is a knowledge sim now, but she was a popularity sim when she was a teenager. Uh, she has always been really outgoing. Um, she's always loved uh, fashion. Uh, she always loved to look good. Um, and... Uh, for me, she also really loved dance. Uh, I feel like I, I feel like she would. <clears throat> her uh, hobby should be this, but it's sports. I may be gonna change it, because I have this dream of making like a a dance club or activity or something for teenagers and children where she could be the, could be the. Uh, the the teacher for that, uh, but for now she's just uh, in the career of dancing. As you can see, she's a really high. She's really high in the career. Um, she is a really pretty sim, I feel like, uh, and she's really outgoing and popular still. Uh, I remember it as she has a lot of friends. Um, yeah. But as you can see, she's already also have a little bit of a, a love thing here, and she also has this, which is unfortunate because when she was a teenager, she of course had her friends, um, well, that was just her parents, and still just her parents, um, but she got to be good friends with uh, with her and like they had a lot of time together we at least these two had a lot of time together and were really good friends um she also got really good friends with uh, Leo Burb Leon ba Burb he was even her first kiss um and they went out a couple of times too i think um and you can see already from the beginning, she also had a little bit of a flirt with Jed, um, her now fiance. But I feel like that never really got anywhere else because then she found Noah. Um, here this, it says land grab, but Noah is the son of Chester A geek or something. I don't remember the last name too well, but no, not the son. Yeah, he's Shiana. Son, yeah, but he is also the son of um, the flower lady in Blue Water Village. I don't, I don't remember her name name right now. Um, and I was sure that those two would be together because they really liked each other. They even went steady. Um. But in college, they just, um, yeah, you can see her first woohoo was even with him. Uh, but when she moved to college, they <coughs> just didn't, I um, may maybe he was moved to college first, but at least they kind of fell apart. And when they fell apart, she fell in love with Leon that he she had a crush on for some time uh, anyways, but nothing serious because <clears throat> he's a romance. Uh, and she kind of knew that he had been with a lot of girls. So she was like, no, nah, I'm not going to go that way, even though I feel like he's really attractive. 
Um, but as you can see, Jet was not on, on her mind at all. Uh, he wasn't on her mind for a long time. He, not even in college, and I'm pretty sure that we, they went to college at the same time. It was first after college that they met uh, again, and they had their first makeout. Um, probably at a party, it looks like. Um, and she finally fell in love with him, and they had a woohoo. And slowly they were like, well, we really like, we really like each other. Oh, I think I moved his grave here. That's why much more death is here. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess this is from. Uh, oh no, not uh, not even. I guess she hadn't settled down and really settled down with the thought of being with Vet with Jet. <laughs> um. So she still was thinking about Leon and just have that life, but. Uh, but I think she had then had a date with Jet and was like, no, I really like this guy. This is good. I I I want this. And then they got uh, engaged, and they moved in together now. And that's where they are right now. She's working as a dancer, and she really loves that. Um, she also loves fashion, which is gonna fit perfectly with Jet, and you will understand why in a second. Um. And I'm excited to see where they're going. I feel like uh, I feel like they have a good future ahead of them. Uh, they have an okay amount of money, um, pretty much most mostly because of her family. Jed is from a family that is a little bit more poor and has really should have worked themselves up. Uh, but I think he took a little loan for a business. I'm gonna talk talk about. Um, but yeah, uh, this is them now and. Let's talk about Jed. So here we have Jed in his normal clothes. Clothes. Um, Jed is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um, he's in the middle of Slavian need. He's outgoing, active, playful, and a little bit grouchy. I don't think. Oh, he has a, a bio, so I'm gonna read that. Jed always been a style icon. He, at least in his own head. But how hard can it be to become? Uh, to be a style I icon, like selling clothes that can only be that, like selling clothes that can only be easy. And now he found a girl that loves fashion as as he does. Uh, with will they open the city's newest new best? <laughs> will they open the city's new best clothing store? And this, yes, they will. <laughs> he actually opened a business, uh, a clothing business, uh, before they got. Uh, engaged, or at least before they moved in together. Um, Jed really loves fashion. He has always looked quite different than the other ones. He, also, in his teen years, he his clothes were uh, much different uh, than a lot of the other guys in the neighborhood. Um, he is originally from a little bit more of a of a poor family than Alexa. Um, uh, he is the son of Eric Swain, who is one of the uh, one of the university uh, households in the bin, um, and he got married to Shanna Swain. I'm gonna get to their household, so I will tell you a, a little bit more about it. Uh, but she is uh, she is originally a, a dormy, I think. Uh, but yeah, they got two kids, no, th three kids, and one of them was Jet Swain, uh, who is twins with Oma Swain, um, and then they have like a late, a later, a, a little bit later, they had a daughter, Yasmin Swain, and as you can see, she is a teenager, so she was actually a a, a lot later than those two. Um, but yeah, uh, he. I don't remember his love life too much, but as I understand, he's always been a, a fortune sim. Um, yep, he has always been a fortune sim. He hasn't done a lot with um, with the romance. 
uh, he has been at the Goth Manor, it looks like, <laughs> uh, for some parties. Um, his first kiss was with Alexa, and I feel like he kind of just remembered her and wanted her. And, and because she was also very fashionable, fashionable. And when I say that, I have no fashion sense myself, so it's how I would look at people being very into fashion so maybe their clothing clothing isn't the most fashionable in real life but in my game i guess it is <laughs> um as you can see he hasn't been with anyone else uh, so far uh, he just remembers alexa from the teen years and never did really dig into anything else uh, oh they did I guess this has been on a lot with ACR. Uh, Tammy King is a, a townie, I think, from downtown. I'm not sure, but something like that. They apparently had a yoo woohoo. Um, but that's all. Uh, he had his kiss with Alexa and he fell in love. And at that point he had a job. I think he still has his job. I'm going to make him quit this because he has his store now and I feel like he would use all his time there. Uh, and I can see he got engaged with Alexa. So I feel like they have been talking about that store and they needed to open it. Uh, so he just opened it um, and, and got his first store and then they moved in together. Um, I'm pretty sure he took out a loan to get the store, so they're gonna <laughs> owe a lot of money, uh, because again, he isn't from the most wealthiest family, at least not from the beginning. I feel like, I, if I remember right, they have built up uh, quite a big amount of money, but uh, he needed to take out a loan because he himself didn't have enough money. Um, and the family, I don't feel like, would have paid him to get the store, because it's his dream and not, the, not theirs. Um, so yeah, uh, this is Jeff, and he's the fiancé of uh, Alexa, and I'm happy to see where they're going. I guess next time I'm gonna decorate their, uh, their house. I will wait, though, with decorating their house until I have a day where I feel like I'm in the mood, <laughs> so it, it kind of can look better than most of, of the other houses. And that was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, to see you in the next one. Bye!